Thank you very much, Adil. And since Kurt has had the experience of implementing PV6 on a number of um, networks, I'm going to ask Kurt to describe some of the challenges that operators face in doing the IPv6 into the networks. Kurt, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, yeah, I'd like to share some of the issues and development that's happening in the operator uh, world and from an operational perspective. Um, um, there are a number of obstacles and a number of, of uh, problems that operators uh, looking at this uh, from the view of the operators. Um, the most obvious and the most cited one is that there is actually, of course, real customer demand. Um, for a transition, um, the only thing customers want to do is run their applications as they do today. They want to run peer-to-peer -peer applications, they want to access their websites, uh, and they have no notion of IP transport, and they don't really care, and they shouldn't have to. Uh, IPv6 doesn't enable any new services for the end users that we can't deliver today. Um, the only thing it does is address the shortage of V4 addresses, something that end users are, are happily unaware of. So what are the operators doing in this? Um, Deployment of the IPv6 capable equipment um, in the core networks, in the operators' networks, is happening incrementally uh, as the operators go and procure new equipment, deploying hardware, software, as part of their normal upgrade cycles. The reason why this has taken time and why it's happening so slowly is that obviously there is no additional revenue for providing v6 services. You can't charge extra because you access a favorite website or a different transport protocol or different IP protocol. Um, and um, that, that is one of the reasons why this is taking time. Um, and it's also a reason why forced upgrades on the operators uh, will make very little economical sense because they don't carry any additional revenue with this. And, and in this regard, it's interesting to see that operators in both the developed and the developing world is probably facing exactly the same challenges. Uh, there is lack of commercial drivers, uh, but they are still faced with the upgrades, and the main driver is the run out of the V4 address space, and because we still need to address our end users and our customers as, as, the, uh, as the customers grow, the numbers grow. Um, and the problems that the operators face in, in, in the lack of drivers is the same also for end users and ent enterprises at residential uh, uh, equipment and hardware. Um, in the developed world or, or in the, in the markets that are fairly mature and fairly saturated, in order to deploy V6, the operators will have to cater for an upgrade of, of all the home computers, uh, both hardware and software, cable TV modems, DSL modems, home gateways, firewalls. Um, there's, a there's a large set of deployed base that will have to be upgraded and maintained, and, and one might argue that here the developing world or the less mature markets might even be at an advantage, uh, as most new or modern equipment being sold is actually already uh, uh, supporting this. Um, the, co the core equipment and the carrier's networks and the operator's network uh, in the backbones um, uh, are is already supporting V6. Most of the equipment being bought today does support V6. Um, becoming an issue and a critical uh, point to the address at the moment is, is getting operational experience, deploying this in the field, finding what, is, what, what pieces are missing from the architecture, from the protocols, um, what is, is lacking in terms of operational tools that the operators need to run this, um, both in terms of software, configuration, utilities, etc. Uh, one of the things that we have faced in deploying IPv6 is that um, products uh, might support v6 for actually forwarding the packets, um, but they do lack imperity when it comes to, to operationally needed support tools for, for uh, fault management, troubleshooting, etc. Uh, another aspect is that vendor pricing has actually um, currently ch charge the operators an extra fees for V6 support, and that hasn't helped, but although that's a set of negative issues, there is very 